Good morning. We're going to, this is Spanish too, and we're going to start a new chapter. We have finished uh, last week. We covered chapter 1B. So today, uh, this is week 10. So this is the fourth week of the second six weeks. And we're going to start chapter 2A. I'm going to share my screen to go to the book and go over the objectives of chapter 2A. Chapter 2A. Okay, the title of the chapter is Como te preparas? Como te preparas? How do you get ready? So by the end of this chapter, the objective of this chapter is to listen and read about daily routines. Talk and write about your daily routine and getting ready for a special event. Exchange information about your typical morning routine. On the cultural side, you will identify cultural practices in an authentic video about special Panamanian celebration. Understand why ponchos are worn in the, in the Andes. Con compare parties and special events in the Spanish speaking world with those in the United States. You will have an oral presentation by the end of this chapter. On the vocabulary, you will learn words, uh, you will learn getting ready for an event, words to get ready for an event. Also, uh, words that you use for a daily routine. And on the grammar side, we're gonna learn about reflexive uh, verbs, the verbs ser and estar. Ser, they're both to be, to be, but this is, uh, ser is to, to be, something to be what you're going to be is that is where you are to be in one specific place or the state uh, not just physically where you are but how how you feel and then the possessive adjectives but first we're gonna we're gonna see a video about la piñata. What is la piñata? We're going to see it in English and then in Spanish to see what words you recognize, how much you understand in Spanish. But la piñata. In Mexico and some places in Latin America, the piñata is part of celebrating special occasions such as a birthday. Piñatas come in a variety of shapes and colors. The traditional shape is a six-pointed star. Today, families choose from piñatas that look like animals, clowns, numbers, soccer balls, and TV characters. A piñata is made by building a paper mache form around a clay container. The form is decorated with brightly colored tissue and crepe paper. When completed, the piñata is filled with candy or small toys. At the party, the piñata is hung from the ceiling or a tree. The children are blindfolded and try to hit the piñata with a stick with hopes of breaking it open. When it cracks and the goodies fall to the ground, all the children scramble to get their share. It is generally believed that the piñata originated in China and was brought to Europe by Marco Polo in the late 1200s. Piñatas were brought to the Americas by the Spanish several centuries later. In addition to their colorful decoration, piñatas add an exciting element to parties and celebrations. In what ways is the piano similar to a birthday tradition you know? Okay, now we're gonna to listen to the video in Spanish. In 
En México y algunos países de América Central y América del Sur, las fiestas de cumpleaños tienen una piñata. Tienen la forma de un animal o un objeto como este balón de fútbol que vemos aquí. La piñata se hace de barro y papel maché. Las piñatas llevan dulces, caramelos y pequeños juguetes por dentro. En la fiesta, la piñata se cuelga y los niños le pegan con un palo hasta romperla, para que los caramelos caigan al suelo. Se cree que Marco Polo trajo la piñata de China a Italia en los años 1200. Muchos años después, las piñatas fueron traídas a las Américas por los españoles. La tradición de romper la piñata se ha extendido por muchos países de Latinoamérica y le agregan mucha diversión a cualquier fiesta. Okay, so we're going to continue now with the, with the, or begin with the vocabulary of the lesson. We're going to do the flashcards. So first thing we will do is review the vocabulary together. Okay, looks like jewelry. We're gonna learn 30, 30 words. So we're gonna try to go uh, quickly. Jewelry, las joyas. Remember the J is pronounced as if it was an H, as if it was an H. So think of this as an H, las joyas, joyas, jewelry. Nervioso, nervous, nervioso. El gel, the gel you put on the hair. El gel, just like in English. El secador, the dry, the blower. Air blower, el secador. Levantarse, 7 a.m., sun rising, levantarse. To stand up, to stand up, to rise. Stand up, levantarse. La ducha, the shower. La ducha, the shower. Ducha. El cepillo, the brush. El cepillo, the brush. El maquillaje, the makeup. El maquillaje. Ducharse, the verb, ducharse, to take a shower. Ducharse, to shower. Un concurso, a contest. A contest, un concurso. Los labios, The lips, lips, los labios. El cinturón, the belt, belt, el cinturón, el cinturón. I'm gonna pause here for a little while. 
because I'm gonna try to write here in some places, El Cinturón is also called Faja, Faja, okay? Remember the J sounds like an H, so Faja, Faja. If you hear the word Faja, also means Cinturón, which stands for belt. Lavarse la cara, to wash your face. Wash your face, lavarse la cara. Cómodo, comfortable. Comfortable, cómodo. Una boda, a wedding, a wedding. Una boda. La toalla. The towel. The towel is la toalla. Bañarse. To bath. To take a bath. Bañarse. Arreglarse el pelo, to fix your hair. Fix your hair, arreglarse el pelo. Vestirse, to get dressed, vestirse. Cepillarse los dientes, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, cepillarse los dientes. El salón de belleza, the beauty salon, or the beauty parlor. El salón de belleza, salón, belleza, beauty. El desodorante, the deodorant, the deodorant. El desodorante. Acostarse. To lay down. To lay down. Acostarse. Despertarse. To wake up. Despertarse. To wake up. Secarse, to blow dry, to blow dry, secarse. Pintarse las uñas, to paint your nails, paint your nails, pintarse, paint las uñas, the nails. Cortarse el pelo, cut your hair. Cut your hair. Remember scissors, tijeras, cut your hair. Cortarse el pelo. El peine, the comb, el peine. Afeitarse, to shave, afeitarse, to shave. El agua de colonia, the cologne, the cologne, agua de colonia, colonia, cologne. Okay, and those are all the vocabulary words. So we're gonna do a fast or quick check, instant check for the vocabulary. It says complete the phrases with the words, with the appropriate words from the vocabulary. Monica tiene que 
muy temprano para ir a la escuela. Tiene que despertarse, has to wake up, despertar, despertarse muy temprano para ir a la escuela. Después de ducharse, after taking a shower, Horacio se pone, what does he put on, what does he put on, brush, deodorant, dryer, blower, or towel. He puts on deodorant. Octavio se arregla el pelo con, so Octavio fixes his hair with, a comb, a belt, cologne, or jewelry. A comb. A Beatriz no le gusta ducharse. Ella prefiere blank. Beatriz does not like to take a shower. He prefers to take a bath. Bañarse. Bañarse. Juana va a un evento especial. Juana goes to a special event. Y tiene que vestirse muy. And has to get dressed very elegant. Elegante. Gloria va a una boda. Gloria goes to a wedding. Después de, vertirse, de vestirse, tiene que ponerse blank. Gloria goes to a wedding. After getting dressed, she needs to put on makeup. Maquillaje. Maquillaje. Ana va a llegar tarde a su cita. Ana is going to be late to her appointment. Ella tiene que prepararse. She needs to prepare blank. Tiene que prepararse. Rápidamente, quickly. She's going to be late for her appointment. She needs to get ready quickly, rápidamente. And last one. La noche antes de un examen, the night before a test, a Luisa le gusta, Luisa likes, blank, temprano. A Luisa le gusta acostarse, lay down, and go to sleep early. Okay, I'm going to pause quickly here. Take a break and we'll continue. We're going to do uh, the handouts that you will find on Schoology material section. We are starting the uh, ninth week. No, no, this is the fourth week of the six weeks. So we're starting the 10th week. We're starting the 10th week. So you will find the handouts on week 10 folder. Uh, we will stop uh, for a while and then we're gonna start together to do the handouts. <laughs> 